Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Miner On Demand. Today I'm going to talk about Binance Pool, how to start mining and what all this crazy information means. If you're new to my channel, welcome, don't forget to subscribe and put a like on the video. Binance was founded in 2005, it's a Chinese company and because it's an exchange you need to register so just enter your email address or phone number register your account Binance website has got a lot a lot of menus so it, sometimes it's going to be a bit complicated to find things my best advice is for you to create bookmarks or shortcuts once you create your account we need to create your mining account for that you go to finance Binance pool and on mining account as you can see I already have one but I'm going to show you how to create another one mining account you just put what, whatever name you want you can put a remark and create on this case <laughs> already exists so I'm just going to put one, one two three once you created a money in account it cannot be deleted but you can hide it okay if you just go to account management and you can hide your account it's gone and it's gone so let's go into um, Aquilex Binance and check our workers but before I explain what all this means we need to start mining on Binance website you can find all the information you need some of them are actually outdated but uh, in here you can find all the pools available there's no region set up so I assume everything is from Japan so grab your favorite miner my case Aquilex you put your pool basically all these different is the, the ports I have uh, tried different ones and they all have the same effect okay the most important part is the wallet address we actually gonna mine to the mining account name we just created and that's it start money Binance claims it should appear on the website with a few seconds in my case it took about 20 minutes so statistics and here you have your active workers inactive workers total estimate income total estimate income will vary uh, during the time of the day because the ash the the estimate is actually based on your current ash rate okay don't confuse current with reporter because they're different things as you can see mine it goes up and down many times so this is my current ash rate and this is what Binance calls rejected uh, I think rejected uh, is actually the stale shares because I don't see any rejected shares on my miner so I would assume this is stale and because the the pools I think the servers are, are in Japan so my ping is pretty high that's why I have a high rejected share if you're in Asia you're percentage should be around one or two percent so the estimate income as you can see will change during the time here you can see my different times and you can see whatever you've done on the day before the times run between um, midnight and midnight next day but I think there's two hours delay for the estimate to come through. One thing is worth mentioning is um, because uh, Binance is a FPPS uh, uh, payout pool, you won't see the amount of shares you send. That's because you get paid by the your hash rate and not by how many shares you send. And Binance will also adjust the difficulty to your money capacity as you can see in my example I start with 8 and then 4 and then 2 and then 
it went back to 8 because I was sending too many shares. One cool thing in Binance is you can create a watcher link so you can share your stats with uh, anybody you want. For that you go to your pool, then account management and in your mining account name you can create a watcher link. Here's your link, give it a name and you can share whoever you want. You can set to see stats, workers and even earnings and everybody who's got the, the link will be able to see what your miner is doing. Don't forget to change to eHash if you're mining Ethereum. Now let's talk about the wallet and how to withdraw your money. It's a bit complex but pay attention. Binance will charge you 0.5% fee to mine Ethereum but to transfer to your wallet it's free that's because you're mining straight to your wallet that means your balance is available on daily basis to access your wallet go to Binance pool so your wallet appears here you have several wallets but we want to pool wallet Now this process is a bit complicated. First thing you need to do is transfer from pool wallet to spot wallet, whatever balance you have available. Next you need to go to fiat and spot select your coin and now we need to withdraw and here you can withdraw to another wallet you can convert to Binance coin as well if you want fiat first you need to convert to fiat so on this case will be GBP but you have whatever coins is available USD Euro Australian Euro and a few others whatever is available to you you have a in my case one GVP enough fee euros you can see it's not even a euro and you have other options free as well and USD this one is quite expensive but you have <laughs> zero fee option as well okay so the first thing you need to do is to convert to fiat wallet and then go back to fiat and spot select your fiat wallet and that's when you can withdraw to your bank account if you wish to do so just create select the amount you want and continue it's a bit complex but if you use coinbase in the past you know the process will be similar to this to use this server you'll need to verify your account uh, the process was quite quick less than five minutes and it actually works um, you need to send a passport, ID card or driving license and then you have the advanced verification where I had to blink my eyes and open my mouth for the, the camera. Within minutes I got an email saying the account has been verified and I also had an email saying I can apply for a Binance Visa card. That means I can make payments straight from my uh, crypto wallet that's very cool indeed now for the conclusion this test was conducted with 220 mega hash and I was making about 0.01 ethereum per day which is about the same I was doing with the ether mine Binance is one of the cheapest pools with only 0.5% fee and because you mine straight your wallet your balance is available in daily basis. 
But Nice is a great pool if you're planning to convert to fiat, it's probably the easiest way. In you can hold it, of course, it's up to you. Although, we always recommend now to hold coins on an exchange. Apart from the overcomplicated menus, Binance was a, a great experience. And, um, guys, give it a try, see what you think. I hope I cover most of the things uh, regarding mining. If not, give me a shout on the, on the comments. And uh, I'll see you next time.